Yeah, I was trying to get a hold of them. I've been working on this thing all day. I couldn't get a hold of these guys. Let me see if I can get a hold of Chris real quick. Hang on. Hello. Hey, Ben. Chris is there. By chance, can I talk to Robin? Robin, can you take over my computer? And uh, I got a lot of documents and Word. Me and my sister Connie, we try and I can't get them. Uh, get him to send it to somebody to, to put them in this email so that um, Shana could put them on that, that Google Classroom. Appreciate you. We're trying to get this on. I got a lot of uh, curriculum that we're going to start doing. Robert and Diana. How you doing, Debbie? Oh, uh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Mongue tonga. Ha ha ha. with a key. Mongue tonga. Is in, is here, is here. How was the morning? Did you have any students this morning? Yeah, I had a couple of them. It was raining like crazy over here. Oh, you guys are getting rain, huh? Any tornadoes? No. no tornadoes. Thank God. Oklahoma, we're known for it. Yeah. Oh, I got to type it in, don't I? No, I didn't. I forgot how to do it. So hold on. I found it. Give me one second, guys. Yeah. Okay, what's, what's the number? I try to get old Brent. I can't get a hold of him. Okay, I said it's waiting for you. I allowed it. Okay, go to Word, and then I'm going to tell you what documents to take, and then send them to this email that I got from Shana, and uh, it was CC to Shana and uh, to me, not this one. Okay, I need the articles in Ponca, the verbs in Ponca, the, I mean the verb prefixes, and then the verbs. And then the insects in Ponca, and then also the possessive pronouns. That should be all of them. Whoa. The articles and also uh, verb prefixes is missing. Where, where are they there? Right. 
Oh my, I got nothing. That's good. I don't know. We have to just pause this and go look in my email down here. She kind of group emailed me or CC'd me and two people. Her name, her name's uh, Shana Lapointe. S H A Y N A, something like that. I'm gonna grab something real quick while you're doing that. Give me a second. <laughs> Yes. She's a magic top the whole thing. I can probably fix it. And just in case, so if I need to help out, I'll send it to me too. Because I actually got joined and I may be able to. Okay. However is best. Did you take take thunder out a little bit? Oh, did you? Okay. No check on blast. Take that back to my room. Okay. Class room. Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, Give me one second. I gotta tell someone call back. Hang on. Hello. Hello. Yeah. 
You got to keep going. It's on the right side. It's why it's like an automotive tire shop or something. Okay, I'm on my class real quick. All right. All right. Are you still there? Okay. Now, what do I need to do? Just go back to the class now? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Tatia. Aho. I was here in spirit, virtually, sort of. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna thank her. We got a lot of stuff that we're gonna. I don't know uh, when we go to Google Classroom, are we like not gonna use this no more? How's that supposed to work, Sean? Well, Google Classroom is really um, for you just to like uh, post stuff if you want to give us quizzes or assignments. So, like when you're teaching right now, in, uh, you know, virtual. I think we just stay we just stay on life size, you know. Um, but then, like out outside of the time when you're actually teaching us. Eagle, then we can all go to the Google Classroom and look at what you covered, you know, the week. We can look at the stuff you've uploaded as far as like articles, um, you know, verbs, all that stuff. And uh, you can like give out little assignments, whatever, you know, and that way we can just have that information that you've covered and we can just keep going over mm -hmm. and over. That's the whole idea is just, you know, for us to get as much repetition as possible. Because I know. I know I know I've forgotten a lot of stuff. I have a ton of notes from, you know, three weeks of class, but I haven't really been able to, like, go repetition-wise with a lot of it. And that's that's what I'm hoping for is with Google Classroom, when you're posting stuff, you know, we can keep going back to it and back to it. Um, you know, the same stuff. Uh, you know, some of us are do, doing really good. I feel, I personally, just speaking for myself, feel like I, I need to, you know, some constant refreshers. And I know Google Classroom will help me, you know, with the stuff you post. I can go back and be like, oh, this is what we covered last week. And I could just go over it again and again and again. You know, so it's not really it's not really replacing life size. It's just uh, in, a, in addition to it. So when you're virtual live with us, you know, teach teach what how you've been teaching. But, you know, you can also be like, well, tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to post some stuff and, Take a look at it before we meet Wednesday or Thursday. You know, you can use it like that. And it's yeah. always it's always a reference for us then too. You know, it's always a reference. We can just keep going back. And you know, I really, I, I really hope that um we can find some way to get you um comfortable with it. I told I told Ricky, you know, I feel like we need either our IT person, I think his name's Brent or Shana to spend some time and go over it you know so you get comfortable you get comfortable with it you know eventually because I, I you know shana's shana's the teacher that uses it um so you know i don't know i i've been clicking around trying to navigate but i mean i can navigate it as a student but as far as like putting things up and whatever you would want to put up i don't know how to do any of that so but you know we'll just all keep using it as best we can and hopefully we can get get you know, some time where you can get some training on it with, with Shane or, or, or Brent. But I just really think it's a good resource because then we all have class materials. We can look at lessons. Uh, and like I said, if you even want to give out like little short assignments or whatever, be like, hey, we covered, you know, um, uh, we covered articles, you know, uh, and give us little assignments and trying to use them. You know, you can use it however you want, but I think the main benefit is that we all can just keep going back to material over and over again. Okay, on this, uh, you know, we sent uh, that uh, Sister Robin, she sent uh, that stuff to uh, that Google Classroom. So if you guys are on there, you should be able to get a chance to look at it. Maybe look at it while we're talking because. I know I could get on it while I'm while we're doing it. So if you guys can get on it, get on it and look at it. How do you do that? 
Do we have a, a link or something or a name or? I'm going to try correction. Eagle, but as a student, uh, I may not be able to. Well, if you need to take over this again, you could just do it because I'm one of the. No, you can't. I'm going to let go. What? Nope, because you're allowed one. Mm -mm. How you doing, Barbara? Are you guys, those of you uh, able to access that? Do you have the class code for it? And I can just log in um, through the. There's probably a link. I, I don't know. Let me look. I'm going to look on my phone because when I look on my laptop, every all my old message or emails, I delete them, but on my laptop, it's got everything on there. Well, when you first open up the Google Classroom that you're the teacher of, on the left-hand side, it should say class code with some numbers and letters. Okay, hang on. Here you go. Mm -hmm. No, and, and it... No. I don't see nothing. That's it. It is, but I just can't share it here because there's not... But I... A chat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chat it to you, Brian. I've got it. Okay, and then I can join it through my Google Classroom. I'm just doing two things at once. Okay, we got right here, but I don't see. You. Okay. Yeah, because I can't. I mean, I could pull it up and share it, but I don't know everybody's email. So. Right. Um, and I may go ahead and shoot it in a second too, just because if I can't walk up here. Um, I was able to access it with that code. Okay. Where'd you guys find the code at? I didn't see it. It was in an email Sean had sent me um, okay, okay. last week. It was in there, so and that was what I pulled. <clears throat> um, I'm uploading stuff, but it looks like it's to my drive. I don't know if everybody else can see it um, to Google Drive. Yeah, I don't see anything in the stream or their classwork. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't see nothing yet. All right. Yeah, that'd be your personal. Okay. So, Eagle, I'm going to take over again. Okay. I'm going to tell you the code in just a second. So, go ahead and pull up quick assist. Okay. I'm waiting for the number. All right, two six four 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 zero. Okay. It's waiting on my side. We'll get there in a second. Okay. All right. I'm going to minimize life size for now. And we're going to go. I don't know which one you'd logged in with before. <coughs> I never logged in on there. I just did it on my phone. Can you make that a desktop, or how does it, how do you do that on a Google Classroom? 
Um, you might. I don't know. I usually just browse. Uh, the times I've gotten in, it just browse to it. It's going to send you a verification on your phone. Five to resend and nothing came. Let's do this then. Um, it looks like it's going to want your password. Okay. So I'll do that and oh, I don't want to show it. Great. Yeah, you're still. <laughs> So I'm going to assume that that's right and say, okay. Yeah, um, you're sharing the screen with the class still. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me do this, Eagle. There we go. Okay. Now everybody's not seeing your screen. Go ahead and type away okay. for what your password is. And this should be your Gmail password. It is. Not happy with that. Why don't you do that? Oh, and I can close my eyes while you do show password to make sure it looks right. There we no, go. It went, it went there. All right. Um. Okay, so that would be you to say say some sort of announcement. I'm sure it's um, yeah. I'm going to share the screen again now that we got the password done so that everybody else can think that's the classroom screen. Actually, we'll do this because it's easier. That way we get everything. All right. I'm going to add material. I am winging it. If anybody's got any advice. Or some curriculum, or what do you, what do you put on there? Got my title, uh, on the title, and we just want to put like punk up. Language curriculum, or what do we want to put on that? Or how do you want to name that? Not letting, there we go. All right, and I'm thinking that it's going to let me. Does it matter on the lowercase be on the title or no? Um, I don't think the case will matter. I just want to see if it's going to work. Okay. Um, because I should be able to click here. There we go. Really? Oh, I love that. So it rejected all the files for some reason or other. Let's try one at a time. Oh, I did it again. Yep. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're doing it, Robin, because I wouldn't have a clue. Let's do it this way. 
Yeah, pick them out that way. And see if this works. I wonder if it's not happy that we're trying to pull it from OneDrive. It should be on your machine anyway, but let's do that and let's just try one. No. There's a little bit more drive. That looks like some other stuff. There's some Honka stuff. All right. You look for it on the sheet itself? No, I'm going to cheat and do it this way instead. See if it'll let me do it if it frees it on the machine instead of a shared drive. Jeez. I'm basically mm -hmm. trying to shoehorn it. This, this is what I do all day long. Sort of. Push my luck and try one. No. Nope. nope. It looks to me like there's a possibility they haven't completely got you set up the way you need to be. Because it's not letting you upload files. Charlotte, can you talk to Santa? So, I, uh, I mean, I don't have Shana's phone number. I can email her. Um, actually, hold on. Let me let me see if I do have her phone number. I might have her phone number and see what's going uh, on. Give me, give me a sec. This looks you like able, you? your drive is full, and that's what's going on. Is it's trying to use your Google Drive in some way or another? Oh drive, how, how do we how do we do that, sister? How do I fix that? If there's anything in here that you think you can spare, we can delete it. But that's I about the only I'll, way. I'll, I'll, I'll take it off my drive later because it, uh, it's going to have a lot of pictures of my children in there. And uh, I don't know. I don't want everybody to see what I got. Those are big and they would buy you some room. Yeah. What about the. Um, what, are, what are the MP4s? Yeah. Yeah. The videos. Yeah, a couple I, don't videos. Even know, I don't even know what that is right there. Well, I can take it. Uh, take it off of. Uh, uh, take us off the share on the classroom. What I'll do is I'm gonna just say so you have it. I'm gonna download it. Right. And then that way, oh my goodness gracious! Is it too big? That's really big. What, what what is is it? I don't, know what that, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, Whatever it was, it was from December 27th of 2021. So. That'll get you a lot of room back. That'll get us a lot on. of room. I should fix our problems. Okay, now when I, when I go to look at my Google Drive, how do I do it on my phone? Can you walk me through it on there? Cause they told um, me that my they told me my drive was full. No, actually, because the problem is on your phone. If you delete it there, it it just delete it. You won't be able to download it. If you look at stuff and you don't need it, you should just be able to go to the. Um... How do I get to my drive though? <coughs> Jeez. She's all right. All right. I'm looking on mine just to see. 
Okay. So you have the little drive app, right? Did I, you go I, into it? Right now I found it. I found it. I found it there. And then you just basically go through and find. All right. It's got it. All right. No, it's not done yet. Oh, oh you're right. It's not. It's, it's, fine. it's almost done. So close. Um, down at the bottom of mine, it has files. And then I've got files and I can just go in there and look at folders and stuff like that. Okay, right here it says uh, deleted emails. It says emails you removed to the trash but haven't been permanently uh, deleted. It says review, review and file, uh, free up 37 uh, kilobytes. And it says spam emails, emails marked as spam, reviewing as 19.9 megabytes. Wow. So what does that mean? That basically means that you've got a trash can and, and they haven't gotten rid of it completely, huh? Get rid of that one. Um, see, if I go to trash right here, notice it says that there's stuff still in trash. I'm going to empty trash and get rid of that. And as soon as I do, we can delete it forever because we know. Wow, why is that not giving us storage back? Hello? Yeah. There we go. That gave us this much storage back, so we should be able to copy the files up now. Yeah, I'm going to call you back. I'm teaching right now. I'll call you right back. Okay, we come in here to this one. Okay, whatever is deleted on here is taking forever. Why does it take us so long to delete it? Um. Probably because it's a lot. I don't know for certain, but. Uh, How's it going, guys? Yeah, I tried calling Shana. She's not picking up. So, I don't know. I can't get a hold of her. I could send her another email tomorrow. Have you guys connected, Eagle, at all? Man, she got my number, bro. I mean, maybe she just doesn't feel comfortable giving her go. phone number to me. I emailed that one time, and she, I didn't see no response. You could look at it. It's on her. You're on it. Okay. Post. Post. Yay. All right. Anybody that's on it, it should be up there now. If you go to classwork. You should see the Ponca language curriculum. And if you got a printer, print them off. So you could really set them. I don't know, I'm old school, I guess. Print out, that sounds like we're old, I guess. But. <laughs> All right. And Eagle, just so that I can make it a little bit better, because I know you were not happy that I didn't capitalize it. I, got it. I just didn't know because I'm on, on this end that showed a red squiggly line and I saw it. Uh. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you're gonna eat a cookie, eat it at the table. I'm getting that stuff all over, I gotta clean up. So yeah, I see five I see five documents. Is that what you is that what you uploaded, Robin? So it's in it there is. now. It's in the Ponca Thank language you. curriculum. It's in the classroom. So it's there. Yeah. All right. You good, Eagle, or you need me to work any more magic? <laughs> Man, you, I thank you. You're like a brilliant woman. <laughs> All right. We're back there. I've got you up, so you're in classroom. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Okay. Do you guys have time? Uh, everybody, uh, is there anybody that is are you guys able to do that while we're on Google? I mean, while we're on uh, Life Size, that you could look at that? You want me to print them all out? Or? 
I got all that on there so that you guys could make simple sentences. It's the whole reason we're doing that. We're going to be going over this. Over, I'm going to be putting in stuff periodically, but at the same time, we're going to go over this until you get it and you understand it. And if there's anything, inbox me or email me or hit me on Messenger or my text message, and let's go over it until you guys fully understand it. Deb, how you doing? I ain't heard you yet. You good? Hate to single you out. Yep. No, I'm here. Okay. Just I'm checking good. on you. Oh, yeah. You see all that stuff you're eating, the crowns are getting all over. <laughs> no, that's really mm. that's really that's really good. Yeah, that's perfect, Eagle. Just yeah, see, and then people can just go back to it. And if we have questions, that's really good. That's really thanks for uploading there, Robin. So yeah, exactly. one here, one server. Okay, Robin. Also, uh, how do I get back to it to, so I can look at it to see what I made on on my on the bottom of the toolbar show stuff? So. Or do I got to type it in? What says type here to search? Um, if you click on the, you got two different places you could get to it. If you want to pull them up to show us on the screen, you can either go into Google Classroom, which I think would be more complicated. If you go to the folder, the yellow thing down on the bottom beside the envelope on the toolbar. Okay. There they all are. So you can just open them up as you need to. Is that what you were asking? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I clicked on it. It ain't opening. So what do I what do? I do? do it one I more time. On double. You got to kind of double click it on in the file explorer. There you go. Okay. These are the ones I just made right now. These are possessive pronouns in Ponka. And remember, uh, we're not able to do that D with a slash on this keyboard we have. So the TH is as it is, and the rest will be the way they are. Okay, so mine singular is we thought your or yours is the thaw, his, hers, or it is a thigh. Mine plural is we we ta. yours plural is the the ta. Theirs is bluga a thigh. Ours is onguta. And then when we got an intensive pronoun, that we for me is wi. And that U is the T H uh, I since we don't have the D, and then for the third person singular is A. The the we form is ungu, and then the U plural is D, and then you put the la by the it changes from C up there where it says the la the the I, I messed up I should have put the plural on the four. The plural and then the singular, but I, I didn't. I was running out of time. So I apologize on that. But anyway, I just want you guys to see that on these intensive pronouns. It says, we, I thought they, me, I see it, or I see him or her, and I didn't write that down either, and I should. I'll probably be able to redo that document or something. But And it says, you, you see her, or you see him, or you see it, so you say, the, la don't they? You're making statements in these, and they can also uh, be made uh, in the questions. Uh, we're not going to get to that yet, though. And then her it says, "Hey, don't buy." She seen him, or she seen her. Oh, well, I wrote that. Yeah, her she sees it. Her she sees it. That's right. I'm like I'm myself mixed up. And then for the the us, we see it. Ungu, oh, don't buy. Ungu, uh, don't buy. You all, y'all seen it? The lost don't buy. Oh my God. We, we missed one. Houston, we got a problem. Hang on, let me do it real quick. And now you guys, we're going to probably have to put this in there. Hey, get up. That's what I'm saying. Don't cry. I told you going now. You're playing around. You're going to get hurt. I love you too, but stop playing around like that. It's not cool. Okay. I'll be here. 
रुगा इतना है I'm sorry on this one, Robin. I don't, I don't know what we got to do on this because it's going to show on Google Classroom that this ain't. That it's got that left out. Them, they saw it, or them, they saw her. Bluga etai, don't my. Bluga etai, don't my. So that that one right there, I don't know. Can I edit that? What we do have in Google Classroom or no? I'm not sure that you can. We probably need to edit the document and then replace it. Okay, we'll probably have to do that because you guys are going to be missing that part of the intensive pronoun in Ponca. And then you just got demonstrative pronouns. Dua, this, they, these, or those. She, that, those. Ga, those. Gu, or gua. Really, it's gua. That's the correct way I've always seen it, but... He just, uh, Grandpa just teaches it in that goo. But anyway, it's goo on. This or that, A for it. And I put, no, these demonstrative pronouns can combine with articles in Ponca. And what I mean by that is, dua ka, lea ka, shea ka, ga ka, gua ka. Okay. That'll change that one. All well, these different ways, and, and there's a whole bunch of deals that we'll get to that, and I'll make it like a, uh, like how I'm using Excel. Uh, to use Excel to make uh, all these make more sense than what they are. What are you doing? Beginning. I love you too, but beginning. Well, baby, let's act up. And so these are ones that we have on there. And so now, Robin, this is probably, I probably sound real dumb to all y'all, but how do I go back? That arrow thing up top? No, I, that, well, that just undoes something you typed in. So hit the other arrow one, so it'll put it back. Which one's that? You, the one, there's two arrows side by side. One looks like it's going forward and the other one looks like it's going back. Yeah, you got it. You see how it's erasing yeah, but, the word? Yeah, you but I want to get out of there. I want to get out of this. Okay, you, the, basically you just hit the X to close this one, and you got to go back down to the um, the folder again and pick the next document you want to look at and just double-click on it. There you go. You're smoking. Smoking. Who? Me? Yeah, I just meant you're doing good. Oh, scared me. I was like, I quit. <laughs> that's, that's, some old, that's some old school lingo, Robin. That's where you're smoking. <laughs> I was like, I no, I quit. Old. I'm not, I'm not, that's, that's, I'm not smoking. Okay, okay, Sean. I am old. <laughs> when they started calling me an elder at, 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 from the tribe, I decided I was going to embrace it. No, that was just funny. Eagle thought he really was mean and he was smoking. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, I'm not like weird. <laughs> Don't you know everything old old is new again? <laughs> oh, no, you're right. That'll come back. Like 10 years from now, like, somebody will be like, yeah, smoking. It'll come around, man. I want you to take a look at these real quick. I wanted to show you real quick. Those are the I verbs. They start off the main ones. Ita for touch. Itale, dislike or hate. Igaskunle, to try, attempt, or taste, depending on how you're using it. To know, e behind. I don't like that. I shouldn't have, that, that don't go right there. Okay, that, that was wrong. Okay, that was wrong on that one. It's e behind. It don't change to e behind till later when it conjugates. Jeez, I thought I went over these too. And those are I verbs, but I want you to see how they all, the, you look at the I form, you look at all three of their I forms, and you're going to see the, it just adds something to it, but you got to, you got to get to understanding this. Like I said, all these have a formula to them or algorithm, and that's something that's simple, that's got simple similarities that you're going to be able to conjugate words. You might 
so I might throw a word at you and say conjugate it. You might not know how to say it or you know what it means, but you're going to have the ability to conjugate it. And now we're going to the GA verb. And I'll put a few of them in there. And now this is the TH verb, or the, D, or the D with a slash verb. It's, it's this song here says call someone short by talking about them. And then you see right there, it says, I caused him to show up. But really, I mean, you ain't got to say nothing, but it'd be like me, in English, it'd be like me saying, I caused him to show up because I'm talking about him. I talked to him in the side or existence. That's what it really means. But in our language, you don't have to say all that crap like you do in English. If you hear someone say, blah, they don't know. Then Igu, you done it again. He's talking about him. Now here he showed up, or she showed up, or that person, whoever it might be. And Dante, TH, the similarities in them, they're easy and simple. And you look at all the other ones, and now we've got the X. And a lot of times you can call these A type verbs because I should have wrote that on there. And so, like the I craft, ah, okay. I didn't finish. I thought I finished that one. I mean, that, that one's complete right there, but I want to add on a couple. Don't worry, I'm going to add on this document, and then uh, when you get time, Robin, we'll, uh, we'll uh, update it, delete and up, update. That sounds good, and I'd like to get you a keyboard shortcut for the D. I can do that. I need it bad, because I want to use that D. Yeah, it throws Chris and I off. Yeah. I'm kind of getting used to it, being a TH and knowing it's a D, but I'd rather let you do it the right way so and remember we had the long thing on this way pretty this one was pretty long now for the uh which one is he on now the verb he's doing verb prefixes verb prefixes okay i'm, I'm printing them out i was asking chris sorry i forgot i was not muted No, get it down. Get it down. No. Well, I told you. Just yeah, leave it alone, though. I'm not going to tell you again. I think it's going through these. You guys got time to look at them. These are just vocabulary words right here. I could put a lot more in here, but I don't see the benefit in it right now. We just need you to get a few words uh, memorizing and showing you everything that I showed you that you guys are going to be able to use some of these words to make simple sentences. And I did these the best I could. How I thought they were, why, why I hear and I understand it. Eagle, I have a question. Yeah. This is Barbara. Um, Go ahead. When you do your documents and you have the panka first, like especially when doing the verbs, for my brain, and I don't know if other people are visual, seeing the Ponca words all first lets me see the patterns easier than when you put English first and then the Ponca word. Okay, so I'll go Ponca then. Yeah, the if, if, especially when working with verbs and, and you start to okay. hear the rhythms as you go through it. 
Okay. Thank I'll you. I'll do that on these next ones. I will. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Does anybody else have any suggestions how they might learn better? Okay, at 6.51, we're going to take a 10-minute break. Okay. Sounds good. And you need to... If I don't answer, it's because I'm attending something else on another line. I have a student graduating with a scholarship. I'm so happy. But I'm going to keep you guys so I can hear you. So I'm not sure how to get to that Google Classroom. Is Do we still have to be invited to that or is that something I can sign into? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, go ahead, Robin. I know I sent you that document. So you don't have to have an invite. How could you do it without the invite, Robin? I don't have a way to share because Eagle's got the screen share. I can't share the screen. Debbie, if you um, are you on Facebook? Yes. Um, if you, sorry, I'm picking up. I have too many phones. Um, if you'll tell me. <coughs> Um, I can message it to you if you'll tell me where to message to, who, what your user ID is. On Facebook? On Facebook, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me get the right one. I got 15 different screens up from what I was doing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, um, it'll just be my name, Debbie Plants, on Facebook. You, Last name is P L A N T Z. What does your icon look like? Because there's a whole bunch of Debbie Lances. Plant? Did you get plants? P L A N T Z. P L. Sorry, I did. Otherwise, it's a face shot. With the, there's a red pickup behind me. I got it. We're good. Um, and let me see if I can copy this again. It's easier to copy it out of the email. Give me just one second. I'm not very technical, so. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a link. And if you have a Google email already, which some people do, some people don't, um, I'll send you all of the stuff. I knew that Diane had already been in Google Classroom, so I only I just sent her the links, not the directions. Okay. Um, okay. I do so have a Gmail account, if that's what. Yeah, I did. I have a Gmail account, and when I did that, it didn't make me give the verification code. I just had to click the link to join, and it basically okay. said, "Hey, are you this person?" Sorry, I'm standing up to stretch for a second. Are you this person? And and it automatically put my Gmail account in. Yeah, if you were doing that um, by just opening Google Classroom um, and you use your account, there's like a plus arrow or a plus in the corner that you say join and you can click on that and that's where it'll ask for the verification code. And then you just punch the that code that you gave me in for the people who don't have the Gmail account. The, yeah, or they don't have the uh, the link or something. If right. they can just get that code. And then once you join it, it'll automatically load you in. Okay. That's the class code that she just sent. Yeah. But like I said, I think if you click on the very first link, if you've got a Gmail account, you may not need to use that class code. I didn't. Okay. I don't know. Um. <clears throat> Sean. If it's yeah. possible, if it's possible, and I don't know that I can make this request, but you as one of the committee members could, if it will help, I don't mind. I know that y'all have people that you want to pay for that, but 
I want us to move forward and I don't mind being a resource if they're w willing to make me an admin um, to get the, the documents up for, for Eagle. Um, yeah, I can, I can ask, I don't mind asking, um, is that the best um, email? The one that um, the photography one? Yeah. The, yeah. I've got like eight of them, but that's oh, my, use that one. Okay. Yeah, you, you yeah. Have, since it's related to the Gmail already, and it's already uh, on, and I'm already in the classroom. She should so be able what to I'll see. Do, Robin, is I'll um, I'll email um, Dana and um, Ricky tomorrow, and just be like, hey, you know, one of our students, she, she really knows how to handle Google Classroom, and she can. So I, that, no, that's that's a bold statement, but. <laughs> Hey, we're trying to get you in here, right? Well, the reality is, you know, I, I obviously know my way around a computer because really that was my first time in Google Classroom doing anything other than clicking a menu or two, and I could still find my way around it. So, right. you know. so I'll, I'll just ask and be like, if 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 you can get um, whatever access so that you can help navigate and the if class, they, like you can share with you and then um maybe either they'll be like no or they'll be like yeah and if they're no then hopefully that'll give a little fire for us to get some more help for eagle well, as as and, and i get it if there's stuff that they've got that's you know if it's something to do with making sure that they do what they need to do for the grants or, or anything like that or for any of the the funding that they have that they can't have somebody um you know outside of the boundaries doing it i understand i'm just saying i'm here and i'm willing to you know they're letting go of the, yep. the realm Absolutely. The helm for that so no i appreciate that i appreciate that I'll, like i said i'll share with them tomorrow because that i know that'll help get stuff up up in the classroom so we can all all look at it um and like i said well i just think it's a. Uh, you know, it's just a growing process. This is our first time doing the class, so it's, there's going to be some bumps. You know, getting everything to be smooth and run, yeah, run the way I we shake, want. So, you know. I shake my head because I went and looked back at Teams again, and honestly, Teams does a whiteboard. It does files. You've got chat threads that you can do. It really is an all-in-one, and wouldn't be part life size and part Google Classroom because I thought Google Crash Classroom was going to be able to do some of the other stuff there. But um, right. Well, you know, this is just our first class. So, you know, if we when if and when we get to a more advanced learning class, that might be something that we can um, we can pitch to change to something like that. OK, yeah, that's fine. I just the just because we Google Classroom is because one of our committee members, she's a uh, elementary school teacher and she uses it for her classes and she showed us and she was just like oh yeah see eagle could use it for this so you know that yeah. was, that was the reason we went with that none of, yeah. i'm gonna say none of us on the committee except for raven and shane and are know that much about getting around in you know a, a virtual classroom so yeah and i can't say that I know tons, but in virtual classroom, but I do have to support basically when everything went virtual, we had people working from home and I had to sink or swim in the deep end to try and figure out how to <laughs> have people communicate and transfer stuff. And, you know, we weren't ready for it yet. And yeah, no, it was, it was difficult on everybody. I know the teachers in our school district, it was, it was really a challenge yeah yeah because you may know your stuff but if you don't it, it, you have to know your stuff and know computers too at the same time which is yeah it's definitely a different way of instructing than being in no. person to, yeah uh, no no but this is good at least like i said the main thing um is just so that people can see ahead of i mean that's my hope is people can see ahead of what you know it's coming if eagle can post stuff ahead of time about what he might be talking so you can look at it and then it's there for all time for you to keep going back and referring to because i know i was having a tough time um making sure i was writing everything down you know when we we're doing those long long lists you know this just saves this saves time as well when he can just post them up although i know he doesn't have the keyboard exactly how he he wanted which 
I wish we did because I've really gotten used to that. Um, the writing he's been using for for the language. Yeah, now, and now I can't really look at anything else. You know, I've gotten so used to what he started us out on. It's hard to go back because we're looking at some we're looking at some documents Saturday. Um, he was doing a punk. We were reading a punk story, and it it was using a different type of uh, orthography and it was like, a, it, yeah, it was hard to follow. It was hard to follow because I had gotten so, we had gotten so used to the orthography that um, Eagle Rod has introduced us to, you know, which to me is, is now that I've worked with it, it's, it's much easier to follow. You know, there's no standardized um, orthography really that everybody's agreed on for Ponca. So, when you get language materials that people have worked on, you know, previously from, you know, decades, years ago, you know, it'll, some of it'll just be strictly like trying to pronounce it out in English, which will get a huge string of letters. And then, you know, everyone has a different system. So depending on what source you're looking at, it makes it, it makes it kind of difficult when you just get used to one, but I like the one we're using. I find it is pretty straightforward. Plus the dictionary, it follows the dictionary. Yeah. The yeah. Dictionary. So that's good. So that helps out a lot. Yeah. But we haven't officially adopted, you know, that's something we're looking at if we want to officially adopt something um, for our Nebraska Ponca. Uh, you know, we don't speak for the Oklahoma Ponca, obviously, but we're looking at that if we want to adopt something as the official orthography for it. So, but yeah. I'll leave you to talk for a little while. I'm going to get up and stretch. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. What did I miss on Saturday? Oh, we did a couple of traditional Ponca stories. Um, yeah. One is, so uh, if you go to the Ponca Tribe of Nebraska website, there's a link at the bottom. It's called um, like Ponca TV. Okay. It's at the very bottom. So the, the homepage for the Ponca Tribe of Nebraska, you go to that and then you scroll all the way down the bottom and you'll see it's something like Ponca NE TV. You click on that and it takes you to a, a cultural website that are that the Poncas in Nebraska have up and on it you can find six stories that um, Southern mm -hmm. Poncas put on there for us I Eagle Rod actually knew who it was who had done done the um, reading and the translation and everything it was a leave I can't remember the person's name so we did one of those stories and then Eagle had us read uh, uh, a story as well. Um, it was it was uh, bear bear girl. It was about bear girl. It was, yeah. it was pretty long. Um, and that's what I was telling you about. You know, it was yeah. it was hard to follow it because it did, we didn't have the writing that Eagles taught us. It was like in a different. Um, but yeah. we did those two of those stories, um, and then we just talked a little bit about some punk history. So Eagle Rod yeah. did some talk of history for us as well. So it was more of a culture history day on Saturday. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Okay. We're going to take a, a, a little break from that. We're going to go to some music. We haven't really been singing here lately. You know, I feel like they didn't, I feel like, I mean, when we had that meeting, I mean, it just seemed like they kind of wanted that a little bit last, but sometimes they give us a breakdown, you know what I mean? To like make us feel a little better. Let me get my drum. Thank 
Not in there. Play it to one of you. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, they haven't posted any, I, I don't think they posted beyond the original or the first 10 lessons. Has anyone been on YouTube lately to see if they posted any more recent classes? We checked today. It still only had the 10. Right. So I'll also find out what's, what's the delay there, why they haven't posted, because I know Eagle's been recording all the classes, so. You know, if you miss one, I know I miss, I've missed like one or two here or there and half of a class here and there. And I don't know why they haven't posted all of them. I don't know if there's a delay or somebody has to do it, but yeah, I keep checking and I haven't seen anything beyond the first 10 also. Yeah, it's probably, a man, it's probably got to be done manually. So someone has to kind of get the stuff and then post it up. So it just, it's a matter of someone taking the, finding the time to go do it. Hey, the house go, we got the bay. 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 Wash you say, no, you did not bear your pain. Love go, the we got the bay. Hey, the house go, we got the bay. Hey, the host girl, we go for very wash you say no duty love very often. Hey, the host girl, we go for me. 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 Wash you say no duty love very often. Oh, <laughs> 
That song right there, that song right there, I missed a word upon it. I haven't sung these songs in a long time. I got to get back into it. That song says, Pony, Tony, the hogger. It says, Little Pony, why are you running and crying? And that's what it said, but I looked up that word. The, uh, the hogger, <laughs> your friend. I just said that. Oh, man, I just left that word. <laughs> you got to practice, okay? It's just like the language. When you don't practice these songs, so everybody remember that song. I didn't sing it right. Oh, <laughs> 
When you lose a song like that, we're in a cultural tradition or traditional way of our punka. Them two songs, that one right there, I slipped up on that song. The other one, I forgot a whole uh, phrase in it. You have to pay for that. What I mean by that is when I'm singing at the drum, those are two good cultural uh, 
lessons right there, what I just showed you. And there'll probably be a lot of bonkers from down here when they see these recordings, when they're finally put on there. They're probably like, damn, boy, you messed up right there and they're recording them. But I ain't perfect, though. I, you know, I, so I, I haven't sung in a long time, you know, and like how, how I have been here, late, you know, lately, I'm reminiscing on everything I got going on, and and I need to get back out there. It seems like first, you know, when I start singing again, we all got COVID. Everybody at the drum got COVID. And then, you know, I was, didn't think I was going to live, and then, you know, I get ready to go to all these things, starting to sing, you know, and I get in that bad car wreck. You know, it's been nine, it's been a... Uh, Nine weeks in a day, you know, I'm still not healed. You know, I was in a lot of pain today, but I haven't been taking no uh, opioids. You know, that's what they had me on for a while, but I took myself off of them because of the fear of addiction. But I still feel mass pain. And you have to remember that when you sing these songs, you got to, you don't have no place out there. You know, like me, I got to get myself together singing again because it's not for me to be at the drum in, in a condition where I'm not uh, giving our people honor, you know, and all that. I'm past that age when I mess up like that. But, you know, being gone all them years, you know, I wasn't with no punk because I was with all Native Americans, but they didn't sing our songs. Um, I'm going to close it out with this song. That when I sing that one song, this one has to go with it. Hey, Walk on the way back, but all they know I beg. Walk on the way back, but all they know I beg. Walk on the way back, but all they know I beg. But it's not no joke when we talk uh, talk around the drum and we do all these different things in the culture. Like I tell people when I was young, I learned the hard way to buy a lot of things, you know. And, you know, I come from, uh, like I was telling uh, some of you guys, you know, when I talked this morning. You know, some of us that come from Ponca's, there's two, there's a, there's a upper, upper class and a second class of Ponca. You know, I don't really talk about that no more, but I come from a lower class because of my father, because we're patrilineal. My mother was the top of the food chain in her, her clan, her people. You know, she comes from pure Ponca's. And down here, you see, they don't have a descendancy role, so they're so damn worried about the blood quantum, about who's got the purest blood. And it's true. I, was, I used to be in that same damn boat, but I was just trying to be like everybody else because I was a half-breed. 
even though I'm over three quarters, if you go by that blood quantum, I'm over three quarters Ponca. And then the rest is uh, Dakota, Yank, Yankton, Dakota, and Citizen Band, uh, Potawatomi, and then uh, Scottish and uh, French blood, and uh, a little bit of English blood in there. But my Colin side, and our McDonald side, and then our Roy side, and Primo side, you know, that's where we get all that French blood. It's mainly French and uh, Scottish, and a little bit of Englishman in there, but we know who we come from down here. That's what they beat that into our heads down here. Ever since we're little kids, we know who we come from, who our relatives are, and and you know, uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you guys, but you know, about a year and a half ago, there's this uh, punk woman. I said, I said, Gaho, I said, Hey, Gita Uda, I said, Grandma, Grandmother, ha, ha, uh, good morning, <laughs> and she said. She said, oh, good morning. But she understands Flint Ponca. She, I mean, for real, she understands everything. There ain't nothing I could say to her she wouldn't know. And then she said, hey, I was already walking off off about 15, 18 feet away from her, damn near 20 feet away. She said, hey, do you know who you are and where you come from? I said, uh-huh. I said, well, he the con. Ponca, Steve. You like the Welcome, I said, yeah, I know. I said, yes, I know who I come from. I told her I come from the Potawatomi and Ponca and uh, Yankton. But she went to make sure I knew who the hell I was to put me in my place because she's a pure clan. She did. And, and uh, even though she can understand when people talk to her, but see, some of these people down here, they might understand and speak, even speak fluent Ponca, but when they don't get to hear or talk to it or use it, they lose it too. And so she used to always ask me words. She, once I said that to her, she really liked me after that. And she always talked to me after she was mean to me. And I was respectful to her. I'd take her, pick her up. She's like, how old is she? Live by 86? I got to say her name and report on this. Remember that first one on the right? They, even me, just by saying that, every Southern punk or punk from Oklahoma would say, hear me say the first one on the right. I don't know exactly who. Anyway, I don't mean no disrespect, Grandma. I'm just saying. I'm about to tell them how you treated me. Uh, anyway, but down here, it's vicious like that. And so my mother, she come from, on her father's side, she come from Wei Ejinga. And where is Jinga means little hole or little rake. It's a motion of like like this one. Can you guys see me? Like you're chilling. And so anyway, but he must have been a little rake or a little, had a little hole. You know, he might have had a little broke one or maybe who knows what he had. But they used bones. And before we got metal, they used to use a Alcum Buffalo bone. But anyway, that's his name. My grandfather, he was a clan chief of the D.C. the down here, everybody knows the clans too, you know, the majority anyway. Not the real young kids probably don't know, but anyway. So their clan was uh, Dikida. And then his wife, she was uh, Grandma Minnie Little Dance. That was Grandpa Bob Little Dance's sister. And their dad was Chief uh, Little Dance, Wachiga Kajinga Little Dance. And he was a clan chief of the Mokong clan, the medicine clan. And so anyway, that was my grandpa Marvin, my mother's dad. His name was Pahe, Ponke Jaji, Pahe Itai. His Ponke name was The Hill. And so anyway, and her mother's name was Annabelle, Horse Chief Eagle. That was the top chief clan that, you know, down here, the head chief was Horse Chief, son of White Eagle, son of uh, Wegasapi. And so anyway, he come from a long line of, of, of good warriors and also of chieftainship after uh, Whitetail had given it, given his seat up to my grandpa Little Bear. When my grandpa Little Bear gave that seat to grandpa Wegasapi, his brother, his younger brother. And so that's how my family got that from our, uh, from my grandpa's brother. And so, and he's the highest ranking family. There ain't no family higher than that down here. They might say different now, and there's other relatives or half brothers or, or even uh, first cousins that don't like that. But it doesn't matter. You can't change the fact that 
That is the highest family down here. Horse Chief Eagle comes from White Eagle, what we're named after down here. And so his wife was named uh, Adriana. Adriana Whitetail, Sindeska. She come from Chief Whitetail. And Chief Whitetail, that's how my family got that name. And and he's a, he was the principal chief of the entire Ponca. You know, before before uh, Standing Bear and them were born, probably, and White Eagle, because White Eagle and Standing Bear were born about the same year or a year apart. They're first cousins of white man's way or English way, however you want to call it. And anyway, so that's how we got that deal. And then down here, there's Ponca's, and, and, and I don't care if they're here. That when my grandmother, I have my grandmother passed away less than maybe about six months ago. Her name was Julia White Star Hardman. She was Hong Kong clan, and when she died, one of my relatives down here, my grandpa down here, he told him, he said she comes from the real. She's the real chief. Her family's the real chief. You can't say that. Whitetail gave his seat up to my grandfather. My grandfather did everything he asked. Whitetail told him to do four things. And some of them things were horrific, what he had done because his two daughters were killed. He didn't have no sons. And his two daughters got killed. And he asked for a brave warrior, one that didn't care. Uh, not one, one might say don't even care about how he does it. He just gets it done. And he called upon all these men, and no man would take up or step up to that. But my grandfather, Little Bear, Monchu Jr., that's who I'm named after. He took that, he took that, uh, he took up what that chief said, and he did that. He accomplished that. And then when he got it, Chief Whitetail, which is my grandfather on my mom's side, like I said, they're the main chiefs, no matter what. He said, I'm giving my seat to Little Bear. And he said, No. I won't have no woman, I don't have no children, and I'll live alone. And that's how I, I love to fight and do all these other types of things and whatever he needed to do. And so he said, give it to one of my brothers. And that and the brothers that he could have gave it to was my grandpa Wegasapi or uh, Thondi Amali. That's Grandpa Lewis's uh, dad's father. He was the youngest brother out of Manchu, Jinga, Wegasapi, Thondi Amali. And that's how Grandpa Lewis is my grandfather. And I got a real close relationship to him. And so anyway, that's how we got that. And that's where my mother comes from. So when I tell you the bloodline, my mother was the top. And then when I got when I'm when I got young and got married like that, Leah Kimball, her real last name was Nokatu. That means white back. Ceremonial name. And she comes from the Washabe clan. The Washabe clan had a lot of chief chieftainship, and they had a lot of different count, a whole different position and councils in the, within the Ponca tribe. And so me, even though I'm almost three quarters, uh, what am I? Just like seventy six percent. If you break it down, the blood quantum, I'm like seventy six percent point one Ponca. You, she breaks it down. She's almost the full blood. She's ninety some percent Ponca, and she comes from the blood clan. And Sometimes she thinks she's better than me. She's listening right now while I'm talking. She thinks she's better than me for real. So I was talking about my watered down blood. You know, that's how they are down here. They talk about if I could be a damn full blood with uh, them there, you know, because after so long, uh, you know, even if your father came from a white man or your father came from another tribe, I could I could still marry. And, you know, after you keep marrying Ponka, keep marrying Ponka woman, Ponka woman, Eventually, you're damn near going to be a full blood, but it don't matter down here because we're patrilineal. Because if your father was not a Ponca or uh, or any kid, could be, don't matter if he was a different kind of Native American or any kind of Black, Asian, or Hispanic or white, it don't matter. You are considered Wakahebe. Wakahebe thong wakong. And there ain't nothing wrong with that because we're the biggest clan and you guys are the biggest clan because that's who you guys are with me. That's what we form. All of us sitting here, the majority of us. I don't know Debbie. Debbie, but Debbie might be. I don't know because some of the Ponca clans may still be alive up there. I just don't know because I haven't got to know you guys that good yet. And so, anyway, like Standing Bear, Standing Bear's clan. He was what they call Wajaja, and in English they call him Osage clan, but it really means reference to ancient big snake skin. And so, and then you got all these other ones like you had a. Uh, White dog, you know, uh, Shanu Daska, then you got 
Well, Jenga Paul, Bird's Head. I think Bird's Head. I believe he was uh I believe he was a VC though. But the thing is, is all these deals, we got to start learning that. And we kind of wanted to do clans uh, this past weekend, but we didn't get on clans. You know, we kind of got on a little bit something else. You know, when uh, there was only a few of us that got on. And so <laughs> when we start talking about something else, it kind of got overlooked. Let me look, see if I can find this real quick. Cooking. Jeez, I don't see what clan. So I don't know. I don't know what clan White Dog was, but Birdhead, I believe he was beefy now. But if you guys uh, get a chance, always find out what clan, whatever your family's come from, up that way. That way, so you can make a a history of it. And I'm not saying it means anything because it doesn't. Because the thing is, is when you talk about uh, blood quantum, if those of you don't know what a blood quantum is, that was used by the United States government as paper genocide. That one day, that it didn't matter. It was going to wipe us out. And no matter how you look at it. So it doesn't mean a damn thing. If people talk about that, you got full-blooded uh, Native Americans so worried about the blood quantum they're they're ready to argue and fight over something that the United States government made to wipe out the Native American after they married into so many other tribes. If you weren't one quarter, you couldn't be on that tribal role. So say like your family, you uh, your mom and dad, your mom consisted of three tribes and your dad was two. You wouldn't be able to get on none of them roles probably. No, we have to say six six roles, uh, six different people, and that would you know. It would it would make you under a quarter. You'd be over an eighth between an eighth and a quarter, but at the same time, you couldn't get on no tribal roll. And that's what they that's what I'm talking about. That paper genocide. They're trying to make you believe that that makes you a Native American or back in the old days. That's what makes you Indian, guys. That's a damn lie. It don't mean a damn thing. And down here, Ponca still use that down here, and they hold that over your head or. Do that, and, and even though if you look at that, I'm over three quarters punk, it doesn't matter. They don't look at me like that, they look at me as a half breed. It doesn't matter. So, I'm telling you guys, the majority of us sitting here, we're half breeds. That's okay because we're the largest clan of both both tribes in the Ponca tribe of Nebraska and of White, uh, Oklahoma. We are the largest clan. There ain't nothing wrong with that, not a damn thing wrong with that. But I'm just ready to see when uh, you guys are, uh, Chris and Sean and Robert are ready to make a song. <laughs> I want I want to learn that that uh, that Ponca Honor song, Memorial song. You gave us the words for it. I I'm just trying to um, remember the lead for it. The words you gave us were good, but I still am trying to pin down the lead that you have with it. Um, Just remember that lead goes like this way. Yo, way high, yo, ho, hey, way high, yo, ho, way, yo, hey, yo, way high, yo, way high, yo, ho, hey, yo. Way high, yo ho, way, yo hey. Way high, yo ho, hey, yo. Way high, yo ho, hey, yo. Way high, yo ho, hey, yo. And you got three honor beats. 
That's an honoring song that my Uncle Henry Collins, uh, Linge, he made that song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does that kid look like Lucian? So, those of you that probably will never have time or might not be able to make it down, we might have to do something that's uh, like a virtual name naming ceremony to give you guys a punk name. Robert and Diane and Chris and Robin and Debbie, I don't uh, know if you have one. I don't want to be rude or nothing because I don't know everybody. Some people already have them up that way. I got one um, Saturday when we were. Um, oh, no. Lincoln. Okay. I had to see your face, Debbie. I had to see, <laughs> and, I had to see you. My son, Tell Garrett, would probably be man. very interested in getting one too, but he's traveling right now to mississippi so he can't that's why he's not on tonight well i, I love the weather in mississippi you know it's down in mississippi but that weather in arkansas you think it'd be harder than mississippi but arkansas was horrific and the mosquitoes was unreal in arkansas and man when i was in mississippi there weren't even no mosquitoes at all i swear there wasn't nothing but over there in arkansas man they ate me alive debbie tell me your punk name did you get to practice how to say it Wachini Nika. Can you guys, you guys got your, your dictionary. She said, Wachini Nika. Wachini Nika. And some of you might already know what it is because you were there. Look at the in the, the native part, the Ponca side, and when it goes to Ponca to English, and you'll find it. Wachini Nika. And then you're going to hear other Poncas and either other uh, Omaha relatives or even some other might be Osage or Carl or Quapa, but even other punkers will say Wachichinika or Wati Ninika. All of them are correct. They're all correct. But the way we chose for Deb is Wachi Ninika. Wachi Ninika. Did anybody find it? Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> they didn't have to Beautiful look it up. Name. I like that one. I knew that. Oh, one. Okay, good, good. And so, my wife said Robert, very well. <laughs> can she say it? Babe, can you say your name? Mikaelo. She said, she said, Mikaelo. Mikaelo. Star Woman. Mikaelo. Is that right? Hers is, hers is, Mikaelo. Mikaelo. This, it still means woman, though. It still means woman? Okay. Yeah, of course. Whenever, listen, whenever the female name takes on a whole different uh, understanding in the naming process, when you say moon in Ponca, you say Nyamba. Nyamba means moon, literally. But in a woman's name, like a friend of mine, I gave her that name that her family was supposed to give her. She comes from the Nika Pashna clan, and that name is, is, is uh, me glad, don't we? Me glad, don't we? Moonhawk woman. Because she comes we... from Outland. And that name, that name is one of the ones that go to that clan. So that name is fitting for her. Me glad, don't we? All right. So she's saying it now. Mikae we. Mikae we. Yes. Mikae we. Mikae we. Mikae we. Mikae we. And you remember the other woman, the other woman, we gave her that name, and she literally had to use Wa'u. Uh, yeah, 
I remember mine. I got it down. Mongi Tonga. Big chest. And I forget what clan name that came from. We're going to have to oh, listen. Let me see. My grandma, my grandma always used to say deer clan to us. And I don't know. The it's other gotta time, be. They always would say, well, there's no deer clan. But I swear that's what my grandma used to tell us when we were little. She probably did say that, but the, but you see the elk clan, they still can't they still can't eat and touch elk or deer. Right. So that's and the only time that they eat. So she'd probably she probably it could still be said deer clan, but really it's elk. Elk. But the literal elk. translation is Nika Pasna. Nika means a human a paws, a head a human head. Nika Pasna and that sna means that it was bald or taken all the way to the skull. I love you too, but go play, okay? <laughs> eat these chips, quit, huh? Yay, eat the chip. Yes, so yeah, yes, yes. She, would say, she would say deer clan, but um, so her her father um, was Leander, and he was the eldest son of that Jacob Paniska that you were you were talking about. One of, one of the relatives from the south came up and stayed with Jacob Paniska. So my great grandfather was was. Jacob Paniska's eldest son, his name was Leander. And then uh, my grandma was was his first daughter. He had a son and then he had a daughter. That was my grandma. But then like you were saying, my grandma, she didn't marry a Ponca. She married a, a Mexican man. So we're, we're from that point, we're not descended from, um, from uh, male Poncas, like you were saying. Because then when my grandma, she married, she married, a Mexican man, and have my mother and all my sisters. Either way, either way, you're still you're still what they call Walker Hebe. Right, right. But I had a I had a song, but I can't the I, I can't do the words. I was gonna ask you to. I could probably email it to you, Eagle Rod. You can help me translate it. But there was a song that uh, Southern Ponca um, gifted to us up here for when we got restored. Yeah, and it was, um, mm -hmm. yes. I just don't know all the words. That's the one I was trying to learn so I could sing it to you. But like the English translation is like, um, God, it's very difficult. All the Poncas are pitiful and feel feel sorrow for them and he was talking about when the Poncas were trying to get uh re-recognized up here in um nebraska because you know our tribe was terminated under the termination policy up here in the north and we had to get a group of our elders had to get together and go in front of the the government the feds to get re-recognized up here and then when that happened we got restored up here through the government um, but we had to give up a lot. Like we had to promise never to seek a reservation up here. Otherwise, they wouldn't they wouldn't allow us to come back as a tribe in Nebraska. We had to sign a way that we would never be allowed to have a reservation up here. We have sir. That's why we have service areas because um, we're not allowed under the law that restored us as a as a people to have a reservation up here. But anyway, there was a Southern Ponca um, that was uh, married to my auntie named Alexander LeClaire, and he made a song for us, and I'm trying to learn it, but I can't make out the Ponca word, so I'm going to send you that, but it, it it says, God, it's very difficult. All the Poncas are pitiful, and please feel sorry for them, and it's talking about, like, when we're trying to work to get our uh, federal recognition back. So I'll send that to you, Igor. Maybe you can help me translate the Ponca words for that. Okay. Send it to me. I'm anxious to look at it. You said Alexander LeClaire. You mean Al it's a, it's part said it's something about Alex LeClaire, but that might have been his real name. I never, I yeah, I never met him in person. I just know my auntie was with him for a while, and I thought he she called him Al Alexander LeClaire. I know she always just called him Alexander. 
He's no longer with us. Okay. So it's important, but it's part of our culture and heritage is singing all clans and man and woman and child. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Singing is so important. So yeah, that's why I'm glad we do it every class, you know, because it really is. It's everything. The drum, the drum is, is the center of everything. Nothing. Well, this weekend. Go ahead. I was just going to say it's I, it's good to hear, like, Sean, that you know so much about it. I know a little bit about who my family is, but I don't know how it fits with everything else. So I would, I'd be fascinated to find out if anybody else knew. But Yeah, no, we've talked about doing that, um, trying to see how all the families up here um, connect. You know, um, cause mm -hmm. you know, when we came north, there wasn't that many of us when, um, mm -hmm. when they, uh, when they did the final, when they did the final tribal role before termination. Um, there was only 443 Ponkas documented before termination. The tribal role was only 443 Ponkas up here in Nebraska that they documented on the final tribal role. And then, um, when the elders up here started to apply to get to get re-recognized, those they went to those families of that 443. And that's why up here we don't have blood quantum. The Northern Ponca, the Poncas of Nebraska, the Ushni Ponca, we don't have blood quantum. We go by lineal descent. So our roles have grown because people trace their descendancy back to that tribal role. Of, of the original 443 Poncas um, that were listed before termination. So the families are really connected, um, but I just don't know, you know, it would be really nice if we could make like a whole, I don't know, I, would, I don't even know if it'd be a family tree or whatever, but it would show how the different families are connected up here. But yeah, no, I, most of what I learned about my Paniska, Panishka family is from my grandma, and uh, she told us a lot. Um, she went, she was part of the boarding school generation. She went to uh, Genoa, and she gave us a lot of oral history about, you know, all the bad things that happened when she was in boarding school there. You know, and really it's the boarding schools that really just tore the language away from our peeps, because they would punish. She talked about, you know, some of the other um, Ponkas that were there with her. And they'd punish people for speaking their language. They like withhold food from them and all sorts of stuff. So she actually told stories to us. We actually have some of the documented where she talks about what happened to her when she was at, at the boarding school as a, a little girl. And she was born back in 1906 i want to say it was like 1906 or 1907 when she was born so she was in the boarding school from like 1917 to like 1920 something she was there for like five or six years but that's hey, hey. tell us a lot about about that but yeah yeah it would be nice to learn how all the different families are are related to one another i think that we should do that I'll start working on something about for Saturday. Then we can find out uh, what families were. You get a chance. Uh, I need a copy of that deal, or someone can email and copy of them. Other than 400 families that were left when they terminated the uh, terminated you guys before you got reinstated. Yeah, I'll see if we can. I'll see if I can get if I can get that from Ricky. So it was 443 individuals that were documented. 443 individual Poncas was the final Ponca role before termination. And now we have, I think the last time I heard, we have almost five, not quite 5,000, but like 4,900 
enrolled numbers up here. And again, that's because we don't, we don't have any blood quantum requirement up here. It's all lineal descendancy. You just have to be able to trace, trace back to that, uh, that final tribal role. Oh no, my brother-in-law is trying to get on up there. He's a Leroy. His grandpa was on the row. His grandpa and his dad, but he was, he took his mother's row. Uh, Yankton, Yankton, Dakota, but then Fort Andes, or uh, Lake Andes, Lake Andes. They said that they're direct descendants from Standing Bear. I don't know that history, but that, that was real good. So Eagle, what I what I was telling Robin is I'm gonna um I'm gonna email Ricky and Shana tomorrow and just be ask if Robin can be allowed to be the admin or be a teacher there so she can just add stuff along with you. Uh, like she did. Tonight. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'll I'll send that email on the morning. All all they can say is no, you know, Robin. All they can say is no. If they say no, they say no. But if they say yes, then you know you can work with Eagle to get get whatever he wants up for us for the week and you know from moving forward. Because it was it's good to have that stuff up. We want we want to use Google Classroom if we can, you know, in the best way. Okay. So I'll do that in the morning and hopefully hopefully we get an answer before the end of the end of the day tomorrow. So. Okay. I don't know uh, who'd like to press out. I'll press out. Okay, okay. Father Makanda, thank you for allowing us time together, time to learn about where we came from and to support each other and uplift each other. Keep us safe until we come together again and thank you for our time again together. Amen. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow evening. I don't. Uh, last week I did all. I did all. Uh, all the classes at uh, eight to ten. I didn't read that thing. I just said it on Monday and Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow you only you only got one class tomorrow. You go six to eight. I mean, you if you want know, to be on there. <laughs> oh. I was like, mercy, I don't know. I, I got to pay attention more. <laughs> but you guys have a good night, okay? All, All right. right. Bye. We blow. Good night, everybody. Oh.